This activity is the electron escape activity. In lesson 9, you've been discussing how atoms of elements ionize by gaining or losing valence electrons. In this activity, you'll demonstrate for your students these behaviors. You've been discussing ionization energy, how ionization energy is a measure of the amount of energy it takes to gain or lose electrons. To begin this activity, you need a clear playing area. Indoors or outdoors will work fine. In the center of the floor is where you'll station yourself. Equipment you'll need is just a soft rubber ball. Any size will work. Ask your students to form a circle around you. For the first part of this activity, you'll take the ball in your hands and clutch it very tightly. You're going to hold on to the ball as tight as you can. And then as the signal of go, you'll ask your students to come forward and try to remove the ball from you. Tell your students that you're an atom of an element, but don't tell them which element you're an atom of. And then tell them also that the ball represents an electron. So say go, and then have your students come forward, all together if they wished, and work and work and work to get that electron away from you. You may ask them to remove any watches or jewelry before they do this. Eventually, allow one of your students to gain access to that electron. Once they've done so, ask them, which element do they think you are? Did it take a lot of energy to remove that electron? Ask them if they can determine which family of elements you might belong to. Because it took a lot of energy to remove your electron, hopefully they'll tell you that you are probably a member of the noble gas family. Recall that the members of the noble gas family, which are the inert gases, require lots and lots and lots of energy to gain or lose electrons. For the next round, have your students resume their position in a circle around you. This time, take your electron in your hand, and then upon saying go, as your students begin to walk towards you to get the electron again, just take and throw that electron. Just throw it as hard as you can. Your students will probably be surprised at this behavior and realize that this time you're definitely not demonstrating the behavior of a noble gas family member. Ask them which family they think you are demonstrating. Hopefully they'll say you're likely a member of the sodium family or even a halogen, maybe even a member of the calcium family or oxygen family. Those families, uh, the ionization energy value in those families is quite low. It doesn't take much energy at all in order to get them to gain or lose electrons. You can continue play by having a student take your place in the center of the circle. Allow them to take the ball and again not telling the you or your the other students in the group which element they might be. Have them say go and then as the students all run forward to try to take the ball away they'll soon find out if they are indeed an element that requires a lot of ionization energy or not very much at all. Constantly refer back to your periodic table and talk about the names of, of the families of these elements with their relative amounts of ionization energy. So this activity is known as the electron escape activity. It serves as a great demonstration for your students to understand how the families of elements on the periodic table have varying amounts of ionization energy.